Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm excited to do a walkthrough video with you today on a Jayco Eagle HT, that's half ton, 29.5 BHDS, that's bunkhouse double slide. This is a lightweight fifth wheel, only is about a little over 34 feet long. It's half ton towable for the right half ton truck, and we can help you figure that out. But it's big on features, so let me do a walk around video first quickly on the outside, then we'll go on the inside. I was just out here a little bit ago and noticed something. When I open up this gas compartment, I notice we have a big propane bottle here on this side. That tells me that it's been prepped for generator. So, if you want to add a generator to it, we can do that. We're all ready to drop a generator in here. If you don't want to do that, you have all this extra storage space on the outside. Our inventory is a little bit low here like it is at every other RV dealer on planet Earth. But we do have this guy available right now. It's a beautiful brand new 2021 Jayco half ton towable fifth wheel with bunks in it. Now, if you come around on this side, we have another propane bottle here. Again, we're a little over 34 feet long. So the travel length, when you hook it up to your truck, is actually gonna be less than that, closer to 31 feet travel length. All of our utility hookups are nicely tucked inside here. Everything's nicely labeled. We have a hot and cold spray port up here so you can spray off the dogs and the dirty sandy feet at the beach and what have you. Nice pass through storage and you'll notice up there laying on the floor looks like some kind of apparatus that slides into a hitch receiver. That's actually a, a platform on which you can put a black stone griddle. I'll show you where that goes when we get over on the other side. Now, usually in a unit this short, again, a little over 34 feet long, you don't have a ton of storage out here. That, what I call basement storage, isn't as big as some of the bigger fifth wheels. But wait, there's more. Check out the bonus storage in the back here. We also have nice storage here that you can access from there or here. See that light just popped on? Motion sensor light. You got your hands full of stuff, the last thing you want to do is fimble for a, a light switch, pops on automatically. We have all this storage space here at the back of the campsite. Notice too, right away, and I tell people when you're shopping RVs, look under the bed decks when you can, see what that's made out of? Plywood. Have you been to Home Depot or Lowe's lately? They're not giving this stuff away more expensive, it's heavier, and by far stronger material to build with. Jayco's a plywood-based builder. There's plywood under the floor, plywood under the bed decks, and plywood in the roof structure that makes it a lot stronger than the competition. I'm going to close these since it's a little soggy out here today. Now, you want an outside kitchen? You get an outside kitchen. Voila. Imagine a big old flat panel TV right under here. You got your TV hookups up here, nice blue lighting, which at night, this is really great. A lot of people ask me, what's up with the blue lighting? Why would you have blue lighting? There's blue lighting underneath the step up there, blue lighting here, and inside there's blue night lights. You're at a campsite, campground, you got your neighbor over here. The last thing you want to do is have a bunch of bright lights, you know, affecting the whole atmosphere out there. This is enough light that lights it up here nicely without disturbing your neighbors. Maybe they're in a tent or whatever. Nice night light, very pleasing light. Utensil drawer here, utensil drawer here. And you say, but wait, where's the cooktop? Here's that J-port I was telling you about. That platform goes right in there. We have gas quick connect underneath so you can put your Blackstone griddle right here. But power outlets in here for a blender, coffee maker, whatever you need. But that's handy. Now you have your Blackstone griddle right here. And then, what's in behind door number two? Great. Nicely sized refrigerator. Oh, and it's running. All right. Plenty of room for beverages and cold cuts and coleslaw and what have you with additional storage right here. Very handy. Bigger fridger than you typical, typically get in a small fifth wheel. 
brag about these steps all the time. These are the Moride step above steps. What I call zero gravity because like that. It's not going to come crashing down on your head. These legs are adjustable no matter what kind of surface you're on. You make good contact point with the ground. And you also have this grab bar for going in and out of the coach. So let's go inside and check it out in there. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. All right, now we're inside this 29.5 BHDS and look, we have bunks, wide open bunks. What I love about this floor plan, among other things, is you can access these double bunks from the side. I can come up here, it makes it really easy to crawl in here from either side, easier to make the bed. And then we have little pockets for shoes, magazines, your cell phone, whatever you have up there. You got power outlets to charge your gadgets and of course lights up here. There's a TV mounting location if you want to put a TV. Each one of these has a window. So we have a window up there, a window down here, and also storage cubbies up there. So certainly a couple can sleep on this. Uh, if it's a single person or a kid, lots of elbow room in here. Really comfortable. And if you need some privacy, change clothes, it's a pocket door that goes closed like this, and I have plenty of privacy up here. Disappears when you don't need it. Now, under the steps here, we also have storage. So, shoes, socks, what have you, right under this step. And then we have two drawers up here with storage, along with a nicely sized garment closet up above. Nice little guest room if you got kids, great. If you just have another couple staying with you, I wouldn't be ashamed to have them staying in there. It's really, really nice. Now we have this nice TV here that we can actually pull out and adjust the angle to suit the viewing angle if we're sitting at the dinette right here or this sofa. This sofa is a trifold converts into a bed and of course the dinette slit, uh, converts into a bed as well. There's storage behind this TV. Shelves that go all the way to the outer wall back there. So plenty of room for extra linens, um, entertainment, whatever back there. Really nice and then nice storage up above here. Again, very deep, goes to the exterior wall. Now, Jika always thinks about connectivity with your gadgets. We have an HDMI cable hanging down here at the ready for another component that's already connected to the back of the television here. We have an optical drive on this Furion Entertainment Center here. Now, you can sync your phone to this and stream music through this inside. You can push music to the patio from your phone after you connect it to this Furion Entertainment Center. Little storage here on either side. And then of course, hey, we have a fireplace. Guys, you hear me talking about the fireplaces in these a lot. So this is a space heater. It's just a fancy space heater. So um, this will actually, it's throwing heat right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. We can actually turn off the heating element and just have the, the visual of this if we want. But it's a fancy space heater. This will knock the chill off this a uh, relatively short fifth wheel in short order. And if you want to have a nice pleasing fireplace look, you can do that too. Wish our unit had a fireplace in. Now, nicely sized refrigerator. Again, we're in a half ton towable fifth wheel, so this isn't huge. It's a lightweight fifth wheel, but we have a deep 10 cubic foot, actually it may be 12. Uh, 12 volt refrigerator because it's a 12 volt refrigerator look how deep it is instead of a typical RV fridge that only goes to about right there so when you get a, uh, a 12 volt fridge like this it's a compressor refrigerator it works just like the one in your kitchen at home much bigger does a lot better job of cooling have a modest sized little uh, microwave up here big enough to warm up some soup and what have you you'll notice this it's equipped with solar on board so this gives you the ability to keep those batteries happy all the time and keep them charged from the sun 
Storage up above. We have a three burner cooktop down here. Lighted controls and then some storage down below here. Notice these are full extension drawer glides. Ball bearing, 75 pound drawer glides and notice they come all the way out. You've heard me say it 50 times by now. My pet peeve is partial extension drawer glides like this that are on cheaper RVs. And then you're fishing all the way back here to find stuff. Notice these come all the way out. I spy. We have tire pressure monitoring on this unit, which gives you the ability to keep an eye on the pressure of your tires at all times. Put the app on your phone and you can see tire pressure all the time. Now we have a sink strainer that drops into your stainless steel double basin sink. And then on the other side, cutting board. How nice is that? Kind of expands your countertop uh, space up here as well. Lighted and vented range hood. So you're pulling the heat and you're fraying bacon smells out to the patio. This is just a shallow little cabinet for jackets, umbrellas, and what have you with hooks up here. Nothing behind here, it's just an ornamental mirror. Again, we're in a half ton towable fifth wheel bunkhouse model Jayco. It's Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 BHDS. We have the J Command Center right here. Everything on this little guy you can do from your phone. You put that J Command app on your phone and we can control all the systems on here. Notice right now we're on the AC controls. We can toggle through the different systems. I can set the temperature. I can pair uh, my cell phone to this and do everything from my cell phone that I can do here. I can check my tank levels right here, my fresh water gray and black, my pump, my water pump, my electric and gas water heater, awning and slide motors I can do here and again from my cell phone. Very, very handy. Now notice we can enter the bathroom both from the hallway here or from the bedroom side. So I can enter from the bedroom side and if we have guests, close that up and guests would enter through, through this way. Nice radius glass shower door enclosure. Everybody knows I'm six feet tall, 185 pounds. Average size guy, I have plenty of room to maneuver in here and a uh, nicely appointed shower. I had somebody tell me the other day I didn't point out the commode. I'm pointing out the commode to the world to see. Porcelain, it's not plastic. It's a good quality Dometic porcelain commode. A lot of people see the pink in there. They see the pink in the sinks and they say, ah, it looks like somebody dumped some Gatorade or whatever in there. Folks, that's RV antifreeze. These come from the frozen tundra of northern Indiana so a lot of these are still were still winterized when they left the factory at Jayco. You'll see that pink stuff in fact you can see some in the sink right here. That means it was winterized. That means we don't have broken pipes when you take delivery on it. Nice medicine cabinet. Look at the lighting behind here the LED lighting. Very classy. Now coming into the bedroom can access the bed from either side. There's storage underneath here. Guest struts makes it easy to access all this space down here. That blue spray uh, connector is a quick connector for the outside spray ports for washing off your dogs or your legs or whatever. That's your backup camera uh, component there and these are your all your manuals in that blue Jayco bag right there. Plenty of storage space under there. Know those, notice those blue lights I was telling you about? Those are nice blue night lights under here. We have separate switches under here. So at night, if all you want is just enough light to find your way around and not stub your toe, put that on. You're not disturbing your partner here. Reading lights up, or, up under here and we have nice storage on either side of the bed. Little uh, cubby here with full extension drawer glides here and this basically a chest of drawers and then we have hanging storage in here. 
Notice that's a motion sensor light that just popped on as I put my arm in there. I love that. Man, you're trying to pick out a shirt or something. It's dark. Even if you do have a light, you usually have to fumble for the switch. Pops on automatically. It's the little things, folks, that Jayco thinks about. I really like that. Shelf storage in here as well. So two shelves, perhaps shoes down on the bottom, and then hanging storage over there. Again, we're in the Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 BHDS. This is a bunkhouse model, double slide. Talk about the little things. Backlit photo frame right here. You can replace uh, the Eagle. A lot of folks like the Eagle, but how classy is that? And then these uh, light fixtures, really nice. They're not plastic, these are nice. I was a little worried about that when I first saw them. They look fragile. I've never once seen one come in where we had an issue with these falling off or whatever. These are very secure up here, but also very classy. It just adds to the high-end look and feel of not only this Jayco, but all of Jayco's line of products. Again, we're in an HT, half ton. It's a little bit smaller but not small on features. If you wanna learn more about this, give me a call or an email. My name is Mike here at Vaud RV in Fort Worth, Texas. It's mdrudge at vaudrv.com. My contact info is below. Give me a shout. If you're not sure you can tow this, pull this with your truck, we'll be happy to look it up for you so you know that you can safely tow this and get you fitted up with the, the right fifth wheel for your truck. This is the only brand new fifth wheel I have on the lot right now. Here's the good news. We have over 300 units on order. So they're incoming folks. If we don't have the right model to suit you, bet we have one coming in. But I have one, this one available right now. So thanks for joining me. Holler with any questions. Again, Mike from Vaud RV. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaud RV.